Hi, I'm Kelly Ellis. And I'm Lori Dennis. And this is Design Time. We've got a few questions to answer for you. All right, let's start with Joanna Sheeran. Any suggestions on how to start a fabric line? Ooh, wow. Uh, Lori and I have started tile lines, we've started rug lines, and the number one thing I think is to get with a really reputable company who's be going to be able to market. Um, help you with the process, help you with the designing process, make sure that you have everything that you need, that you communicate really well with that person. Um, fabric lines are tricky, you know, a lot of them will reach out to high-end designers or very well-known designers. Um, and then there's fabric lines that are waiting for new designs. They're looking for people just like you to start creating something new and trendy. So, key thing is you want to first have an idea. You mm -hmm. have to have an interesting and unique point of view because, as you know, there are thousands and thousands of different fabric designs out there and library things that are archived so there's just a lot of things you have to have a unique point of view and start sketching start putting those things together start getting your images together so that you can present them to someone the second part of that equation is that you have to have the contact so you want to start looking at what companies kind of are on the same level or, or that you identify with and where you would see your brand fitting. So when you figure those out, you want to start going to those different vendors and start making relationships with them. It might take you 10 years mm -hmm. to actually get a deal and you might not ever get a deal with them. So you want to have quite a few that you're talking to and that you're showing and sharing and forming relationships with and eventually, you know, something can click. There's another way that you can go about it too is you can self print. So you can go to a manufacturer that has fabric and you can bring your designs and you can have the fabrics printed or woven. Printed is probably more affordable for somebody just starting out. And you can sell them on your website directly. You can go to different um, vendors that have um, different lines, line vendors, and bring your fabrics in and see if they would want to rep your line for you. So there's a couple different ways that you can go about it and there's different processes, but you also want to go on our videos and look at how to start a fabric line videos because you're going to get a lot of useful information um, across the board, whether it's fabric lines, tile lines, furniture lines, on A to Z, the money involved, the steps involved, um, the processes to help you really nail down and, and get that going. Some of the people that used to come to camp and continue to come to camp got together and and made a fabric line and they did exactly what you said they self printed just like self publishing a book so there are companies that are wi really willing to help you do that they also help with marketing but one of the cool ways of doing it really simply is just like this make a pillow so you have your fabric and you have your print and it's the easiest smallest way to sort of showcase your designs and then move on from there it seems to be like a get the foot in the door type of thing so that you don't have a ton of inventory so if you've got a great idea, great design, you can self-print, make pillows, start selling them, start moving them around, start showing them to vendors. And it's a really good way of getting your name out there as a fabric designer. We look forward to more of your questions. And we'll see you next time on Design Time. Bye-bye.